Oh, long time no see. Welcome back to Crushable. I'm Drew, not a beer expert, but I did walk to get donor kebab last night while drinking a beer. So there's that. <laughs> see, my knows I haven't posted a video in quite a long time. See, what happened was I moved to Germany. Uh, so that became the priority of getting uh, everything ready to go to Germany and uh, been in the country now about three months and settled in and I think I can start up my hobby again because obviously <laughs> this doesn't pay the bills. So what does that mean going forward? Well I'd like to start the channel up again. Problem is TK is back in the United States so it'll probably be a lot of one-on-one -on -one videos with me. TK has said that He's willing to film some stuff occasionally for the channel, and Bortz has also volunteered, so we'll have that content. I also brought my cellar with me. I have about 100 bottles, uh, ranging back from like 2016, so I can still do cool verticals and that kind of thing. You can get some U.S. beer here, but uh, hey, while in Germany, let's drink what the locals drink. So moving forward. Uh, the focus of the channel will definitely shift away from, you know, beers available in the DMV, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, DMVP, I don't know, whatever, uh, to more international stuff, especially things you can find here in Germany. Belgium is only a few hours drive away, so definitely going to try and get myself hooked up with some West Veltrin, some Cantillian, so opportunity for some whale hunting here. So before we move on to cool German content, I do have two final episodes of Crushable from last summer. Uh, I think we got a Crooked Crab video and then uh, we took down the beer wall. So we go through and we sort of racked and stacked and ranked uh, all the beers we drank in what I'm gonna call season one. Since I've been here in Germany, uh, I've had 63 unique German beers and you're thinking that's sort of a little, a lot, I don't know, over three months? It's only like 20 a month. I don't know. Some people might think that's a lot. Some, might, some people might think that's a little. I don't know. But it would be a lot more if it weren't for this beer right here. This is Augustina's uh, Helles Lagerbier. Uh, Augustiner is the oldest brewery in Munich. Uh, we're like going back to like the 1500s and I had sort of known about this beer. I'd never had it before uh, Before I came to Germany, but I heard about this beer through various other YouTube channels and stuff like that And it was definitely on my list of beers. I wanted to try right away uh, It's very cheap uh, Compared to some beers, you know, we're not talking like you know $20 four pack here. This stuff is, you can get a whole rack for, I don't know, like 12 euro? I, I don't know. I, it comes down to like a dollar a beer ish, which is great. Um, it's obviously a, it's a Hellas lager, nice light color. Oh yeah, smooth, crisp, refreshing. It's, um, so the, the difference between the Hellas and like a regular lager is that it's a little bit more malt forward. It's not as uh, hoppy or punky as a Pilsner. Uh, it definitely has some, a little bit of hops, but the maltiness isn't, isn't like a, so it's not like an Oktoberfest or a Marzen where it's like really sweet, but there's a hint of it in there. Really fresh, crisp, refreshing. In fact, I went to go film this and I realized I drank all the cold ones in my fridge last night so i had to throw wrap a towel around one throw it in the freezer so i had a nice frosty one for this review right here oh it it it, it really checks a lot of boxes and um, it meets the german purity rule all the reinsgebot it's only water hops malt and yeast it's just a tasty beer and i'm gonna i'm willing to put this little guy up against any of the other regional Hellas lagers, like, until I find something better, this is the standard to beat so far here. Since I've gotten here, I've had a rack of these in my house pretty much at all times. Uh, and when I'm tired of trying something new, I crank one of these out. 
They're just delicious. It's so good. It really is. I was even doing some research to see if there's a possibility that you can get this back in the States. They don't really distribute, 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 distribute. They don't really distribute to the United States. They do send some products there, but not the Helles Lager. So if you're ever in town in Germany, definitely find yourself one of these. Um, and this isn't just like the beer snobs, you know, drinking this. I was uh, walking around the Christmas festival, just some regular working dudes in overalls, each had two bottles, uh, just sitting, you know, next to a pillar drinking. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this is, this is the everyman beer here in Germany. And unlike some of our, um, poundable beers in the United States, like, you know, the Budweiser's, the Middle Lights, it, this doesn't have that sort of stigma. Uh, I, I could see the craft beer guys coming in here and drinking this and being like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on with Crushable. Like I said, two more episodes coming out with TK. We'll close up season one. Uh, I'll put this out just to let people know what's going on. Don't be surprised when you're watching a video from last August and <laughs> we're sweating our asses off. <laughs>